Now you will see how to program a small queue consisting of three sequences. We are doing this example on four MX10s. In slot A of our queue we will put a four step dimmer chase. The moving square indicates the current step in the sequence. Then we will program a three step color chase in slot B and finally a two step pan and tilt sequence in slot D. To start programming, we have to select the first MX10 that has to go into our dimmer chase. We press fixture and then press fixture button 1, which has been patched to our first MX10. Once pressed, Exciter starts the programmer with the first MX10 loaded and ready to be programmed. We want to make a dimmer chase, so we locate the dimmer channel, this one here. By moving the fader, we change the dimmer parameter of the fixture. We want the dimmer at full. The value for the dimmer channel is in the programmer right now. We want to store it as step 1 in the editor's sequence. We do that by pressing the flashing store button. The main display now reads scene 1 of 1. We press the add soft key to add step 2 to the sequence. The scene counter increments by 1, now reading scene 2 of 2. When adding like this, Exciter duplicates the current scene into the added one. So we have to close the dimmer of fixture 1 and select the second MX10 and put its dimmer at full. You'll notice that the store button blinks. This is because the scene in the programmer is different from scene 2 in the editor. Remember that scene 2 in the editor is still a copy of scene 1. We press store and scene 2 in the editor is identical to the scene in the programmer, indicated by the non-blinking store button. Let's press add to add a step 3 to the sequence. Again we close the dimmer, this time on fixture 2. Then we select fixture 3 and put its dimmer at full. The store button flashes again. We press it and the scene in the programmer overwrites scene 3 in the editor. We do exactly the same with step 4. This was the fourth and last step in our dimmer chase. We can navigate our steps with the left and right arrow keys. However, if we want to see our sequence with the correct timings applied, we have to go to the advanced menu by pressing the double arrow key. In here, you'll find the preview soft key. Press it to make Exciter simulate your sequence with correct fade and scene times. Exciter now runs the sequence with the default timings, that is, one second of scene time and one second of fade time. Notice how the intensity of the beam crossfades from one fixture to the other almost immediately because the fade time is equal to the scene time. This is no good for our dimmer chase. Let's change the timing. We exit preview mode with the escape button. We're taken to the advanced menu, but the timings are in the basic menu, so we press the double arrow key again. The timings are listed here in the main display. As you can see, the scene time is one second and the fade time is also one second. We want a more abrupt change, that is, no fade time. So we press the corresponding soft key and scroll the wheel to get a zero second scene time. You can also just clear the value with the clear button and press enter to confirm the new fade time. To get a faster chase, we also adjust the scene time by pressing its soft key and then setting it to half a second. And confirm it with enter. Let's check it out with preview. The scenes do not fade any longer and the shorter scene time gives a more dynamic look. Let's exit the preview and save this sequence to a queue in Show Memory. Pressing Store will bring up the Store menu. We will store this sequence directly to a specific queue button by pressing the Sequence to Queue soft key. Exciter defaults to queue page 1, which is fine. Now we must determine which of the 20 queue buttons we want our dimmer chase assigned to. Let's pick queue 1. If there is any background scene in the queue, the name displays here. 
In the main display, you'll see the four sequence slots. They are all empty. To store the dimmer chase to slot A, we simply press the A soft key, which in turn lights up to indicate the selection. We confirm this with Enter. Exciter suggests a default name for the sequence. Let's clear it with the clear button and give it a more descriptive name. The number letter keys work very much like a cell phone keypad. Keys 11 to 19 are letters, with special characters on 20 and numbers on 1 to 10. We are going to name our sequence MX10 Dimmer Chase 1. We press enter to confirm. Let's exit the programmer with escape. The fixtures return to default positions. To test Q1, we enter Q mode and press Q button 1. The Q runs immediately, playing our dimmer chase. We would like to add to this Q a three-step color chase on the MX10s, so we have to exit Q mode but pressing Q doesn't exit Q mode. This is a safety mechanism that prevents you from accidentally stopping your show. You have to explicitly press the Yes soft key to exit the Q mode. We go to programming mode by pressing the fixture button and selecting our fixtures. This time we select the whole range by pressing the first and last button comprising the range. To see the colors we want, we have to open the dimmers. Now the dimmer information is on the active layer, but we only want it on the inactive layer, the hidden layer. We do that by pressing clear only once. Notice it didn't have any effect on the output. Let's scroll to channel page 2 to access the color wheel channel. With the jog wheel we fine tune the channel to a yellow color. This color will be the first color in the chase. In the fader display, the color wheel channel reads 165, and from the square bracket we see that the channel is in snap mode, which means that it will disregard the fade time in the scene and come on instantaneously. Let's store the scene as step 1 in the editor's sequence, and then add step 2 in the sequence by pressing the add soft key. As you know, Exciter duplicates the current scene, so we can simply turn to the programmer and adjust the color wheel. When you start changing the scene, the store button begins to blink. Let's press it to store the blue color in step 2 in the editor's sequence. Let's add the third and final step to our color chase. We pick a new color. And store it to step 3 in the editor. Let's try and step back and forth in the sequence. We can also preview it from the advanced menu. The colors change a bit fast, so we will return to the basic menu and adjust the scene time to 2 seconds. Remember that the color wheel channel is in snap mode, so changing the fade time is irrelevant. We will just leave it. Let's store this sequence to the same cue as the dimmer chase. We press store once to store the change of scene time, and press store again to get to the store menu in order to store this sequence to our cue. We press the cue soft key because we want to do direct assignment of the sequence. Exciter defaults to cue page 1 and Q number 1, so it's just a matter of selecting the slot in the queue where we want the color chase to reside. We put it in slot B and confirm with Enter. We accept the default name Exciter suggests by pressing Enter, and the color chase is stored in Q1.